I would like to share with you why dieting doesn't work if you're an emotional eater. So myself for many, many years and still at times, I'm an emotional eater. And really, it's all in the name, emotional eater. So it tells us it's to do with our emotions. And what happens is as we're going through the days, there's these triggers, quite often unconscious triggers, but sometimes we're really aware that something has triggered us. A co-worker, our boss, our partner, something has triggered us and we don't feel good. So there's something going on inside of us that doesn't feel good. And then what we do is we will then either walk to the fridge, we'll go down the street, we'll, we'll look at some way of eating to stop feeling whatever it is we're feeling internally. And this is why dieting doesn't work. Because you can, I remember years ago, hearing Oprah say that she still can devour a whole bowl of lettuce. And it still means that she's emotionally eating. It just means that she's choosing better food to eat, but it's still not fixing the real problem. And the real problem is we need to look at some of them triggers, whatever they may be. And we need to work out, is it the same thing that's triggering us all the time? You know, if we can just slow down in that moment, instead of worrying about what diet to be on, what exercise to do, if we could just slow down in that moment and notice what it is that is causing us to want to eat, to stop feeling a certain, certain feeling. And then by eliminating the trigger, once and for all, like once you find the trigger, you can eliminate it. Triggers can be deleted. And when you delete the trigger, you're not having to worry about the willpower not to eat what you, you know you don't want to be eating. Because it's the trigger that overrides our common sense. We know we don't want to be eating the muffin. We know we want to be eating, eating the apple. We want to be healthy. We want to be fit. We want to be energetic. But because of these trigger, it overrides that. And we just do not want to be feeling like that anymore. And we will do whatever it takes. And normally it's a quick fix to try and escape that feeling. And the truth is we escape it, but then you're on this loop because you eat the muffin. Then you feel bad that you've eaten the muffin. So then you've got these feelings inside about you've done it again. Um, you've, you're so weak. You've got no willpower. Whatever it is, you start beating yourself up. You start feeling worse again. And then you go back for more food to try and suppress all them feelings. So it's just this massive loop. But if we can just slow down enough, notice what it is that we're feeling, notice what it is that triggered that feeling, and we delete the trigger right there. Now, we can still choose to eat the right food, but it's not about dieting. It's never ever about dieting because dieting will not fix the emotional triggers that are causing us to emotionally eat.